is Mount Ararat. It stands over 5,000 meters tall, and its permanently snow-capped and dormant volcano is historically known as the Holy Mountains of the Armenian Highlands. And I'm about to share my journey of climbing Mount Ararat. This is the view from our hotel. This is the city of Dolubayzad. It's in the middle of the mountains all around us. And the great part is from my window, you can see Ararad. Um, that's big mossies, that's little mossies. So today's schedule for the hike is we're gonna drive in a couple hours to the trailhead and it's gonna be roughly around 7,000 feet. I don't know the exact numbers because they go by meters here. Um, so we're gonna drive towards around 7,000 feet, start the hike, we're, we're gonna hike up to 10,000 feet-ish around there and that is where our camp one is going to be. took us about just under three hours which I heard we have a fast group so um, they're impressed with it uh, but this is the view and let me show you guys this is everyone um, and that is Turkey there so that's Turkey side Western Armenia um, and then this is the dining room uh, where we eat. So I'm about to go in there right now and that's the peak. Um, getting closer and closer. <laughs> Looking at Ararad right now. So I gotta keep my goal in front of me. Um, no, just kidding, the sun's that way. So, <laughs> um, but feeling great, uh, just nauseous a little bit. Um, I think it was last night's food that we ate. Um, it was really good, but uh, I'm used to this elevation. It's like 10,800 ish feet. Um, I'm used to it, so I'm just gonna bring it on the hood. And, but it'll it'll go away in time, and then we're just gonna have dinner later, uh, and then go to sleep and start all over again tomorrow. <laughs>
It's uh, in the middle of the night right now. I've been throwing up. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking about quitting. Cause I have no strength left in me. And it's only gonna get harder. So we are at camp two. Um, I haven't updated you guys because I've had zero energy. So remember that one time I said when I was in camp one, like I'm feeling a little nauseous and it'll probably go away. Well, it didn't go away. Um, I actually did throw up like six times. Uh, everything I had, I, I threw up, um, including diarrhea. Sorry, everyone. Um, but... Ever since then, I've been very weak. Um, I wasn't even sure I was gonna make it to camp two, um, but I slept for like 10 to 12 hours and I um, I think I just took everything out. But just hiking from camp one to camp two, uh, which is four kilometers, just under three miles, um, that was the most difficult thing ever. Uh, it wasn't really muscle weakness, it was just my stomach was hurting and I couldn't, I can't put food down. Um, I did right now, but in the morning I couldn't. So I had on an empty stomach hiking up from 10,800 feet to 13,800 feet. Uh, so just zero energy. I have zero energy to talk right now, um, but everyone's been taking care of me, making me food, giving me all of the medications possible. So I feel very, um, very loved and taken care of. Uh, everyone's, mostly everyone is up acclimating, so they're climbing up a little bit more. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm just getting ready for tomorrow, if it's possible for me to actually go. So uh, the goal is going to be, uh, if I can hold food down, then I'm gonna go ahead and attempt for Mount Ararat, but there's no way I can do it on an empty stomach. Um, there's no way. Uh, so hopefully I ate some rice earlier, some crackers, water, tea, uh, and if I feel better. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little nap until dinner time and then I'm hoping to put more, more uh, food into my body uh, and then yeah, that's a lot of update. I haven't updated you guys at all. I didn't record um, the hike from camp one to camp two because I had zero energy. I barely walked up. I was behind everyone for a solid like 20 minutes. Um, but I made it. Somehow I made it. The guide was with me the entire time, encouraging me and making sure that I'm okay. And he's like, it's okay. If you need to sit, just sit. We're not that far. So he made me feel comfortable with it. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on, which is crazy. Um, it has nothing to do with the elevation. I think I just got food poisoning, which never happens to me. But it happened yesterday when I was finally um, going to Mount Ararat. So it happened. It's done. Taking care of everything now. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Not even tomorrow. Um, we are waking up at 12 a.m and starting the hike at 1 a.m. And it's just a little over two kilometers. So um, mile-wise, I wanna say it's like a mile and a half, but we're gaining 3,000 feet in a mile and a half. So, uh, and part of it is in snow. So, um, so it's gonna take, I heard, five to six hours. Mile and a half, five to six hours, crazy. Um, so let's see, I'm just gonna do my best, and if I make it, I make it. Um, there was some unforeseen circumstances, and I'm trying to deal with it. So, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go take a nap. Oh, let me show you guys the view for a second. Before I go, this is my view. It is a beautiful view. 
right behind me is Mount Ararat, so you could still see the peak, kind of. Um, yeah. Anyways, all right. Good morning, it's uh, 11, or it's not morning, <laughs> good evening, yeah, it's good evening. evening, it's 11.35 p.m., yeah. uh, we're having breakfast, <laughs> last breakfast, last breakfast, we're gonna sum it in a little bit, this is the group, last breakfast before summer, yeah, <laughs> I want this, to is, be this is our guide, yeah, are we excited? Yeah. <laughs> We're finally Yay. summoning. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> and our guide here. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. Isma, you go slow, okay? Yeah. You go. Yeah. I know. <laughs> as soon as we started the hike, the trail was just covered with rocks. Then at some points, it was very sandy and really tough to hike on. going it's dark very rocky uh, this is everyone see all the headlights that's everyone coming up and our guide is we're doing great we're going slow Breathing hard. Huh? It's 341. 341. He wants to come if he can. But we're taking a break. It's getting really, really cold. My hands are frozen. My ears are frozen. It's really hard. We're all taking a break. We have about 350 meters left to go. We'll update you soon. We haven't, we haven't reached the snow yet. You're not gonna kiss me. We are almost at the summit, putting on crampons, having health, my hands are numb. <sighs> Lavik? Yeah. Lavik?
favor. our tents, our bags, and they're gonna put them on horses. They're gonna take it down to camp one. And we still have to hike down. So I've already hiked 11 hours. We still have to hike down about probably another three hours uh, down to camp one. So it's right behind me. I'll show you guys. Everyone's just getting ready to leave. It's not just our group. So it's a few other groups that are doing the same thing as us. So these black bags here, there's a bunch down there. Uh, they're putting those on top of the horses and then they're gonna take it down. Um, and this man here really helped me. He fed me <laughs> when I didn't want to eat. This is the last day and we're hiking all the way back down to Dovo Bayazit. Okay, so there are things I didn't like. For example, me throwing up and having diarrhea the entire time, and I felt like I was going to die. But overall, it was an amazing life-changing experience where it challenged me like I've never been challenged before. And I couldn't have asked for a better group. We came in as strangers and we left as one big happy family. Yeah. 